Hi everybody, it's me, Vicki. Thank you for tuning in today. Um, this video is all about the power of want. Um, the reason why I'm doing this video is because chatting with a girlfriend of mine last night, um, something clicked. And I may have made a video similar to this before, but I'm sharing what's on my heart right now. So in case you don't, oh, let me shut off my... In case you don't know, um, I have lost a total of 127-ish pounds, um, and it's been over the course of four years, um, but before that, I tried a bunch of stuff to lose weight, um, metabo me Metafast, um, Lipozine, um, fasting, um, whatever, whatever was there, I tried it, and nothing ever worked, um. I tried working out, I tried eating right, um, I tried a lot of things, but nothing ever seemed to stick because I didn't want it bad enough. I fell off the wagon, I would go running every day for a week, and then I would stop because I got bored, or other things came up, you know, I wanted to go out with my friends, I wanted God knows what. So, um... After talking to my girlfriend last night, I realized that, well, she said, I wish I had a pinch of your de dedication. Now, here's the thing. I was, I'm a girl, and if I don't get what I want, I, I don't like it, right? Um, I'm not saying all females are like that. Some guys are even like that, but I wanted to be fit and healthy so bad. I would give anything for it. And I was tired of not getting what I wanted. I was tired of not having things happen overnight is what it was. So with um, a change of my mind and a change of my attitude and realizing that the results I wanted was not going to happen overnight, that I actually had to work my ass off, pardon my language, um, and every day stick to it and work. And yes, there'd be times where I wanted a bacon cheeseburger or there'd be times where I skipped a workout, but I knew I had to build this path and I had to stay on this path if I wanted my, my final goal. If I wanted something so bad and I could taste it and it was just a fingertips reach away, I had to go after it and I have to keep going after it. Um, I know that if I quit, What's going to happen? You know, um, my want for being healthy and fit is over the moon huge. Like, I can't even imagine how strong it is for me. Um, I just want to feel good in my own body. I went so long with being so uncomfortable in my own skin, in my own body, and ashamed of myself, and not feeling good, and not feeling attractive. And that's not something that I wanted ever. Um, I don't want anyone to feel that way. It's not a good feeling. Nobody wants it. Um, and now I need to make a good example for my son. I need to be a good wife, a good mom, a good role model. And I can't do that if I'm just sitting on the couch eating Frito-Lays and ice cream. You know, I need to be active. I need to be positive. I need to remain on my path towards my goals. Um, so if you feel like you don't have dedication or you don't have the motivation in yourself to keep moving forward and staying on that path to your goals, then you need to change your mindset. Get out there and read some personal development or change the environment you're around or change people that you're hanging out with. Maybe they're not um, I'm not saying they're bringing you down, but maybe they're not the people that help you on the path you want to be on. Um, whatever it is, sit down and really focus on the things that you want in life and how you want to feel and how you want your life to be and how you want to be known for your life. Um, and once you sit down, build a step, build, build a plan on how you're going to get there and stick to it. And if you want it so bad, it will happen. You might have to work your ass off, but it's going to be worth it in the end. 
So I hope this um, helps you all. Um, I'm going to stop saying oh no. So anyways, have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. And you can head on over to Facebook and find me at Fit with Vicky. Have a great day.